Hello everyone, Tom from Surfer here, and today I'm covering what duplicate content is, how it impacts your SEO, and most importantly, how you can avoid and fix it. So, what exactly is duplicate content? Well, duplicate content occurs when large chunks of identical text appear on multiple pages on the same or different domains. This can be literally anything, from product descriptions to blog posts that are either completely identical or have identical sections. Google has come out and stated that there is no explicit penalty for duplicate content. So why does it even matter for SEO? Imagine that you are Google and you're trying to present the most relevant information to users by crawling through billions of pages. Stumbling upon duplicate content can be confusing for you. Which version is the original content and deserves a credit? And which page is to be considered a copy? When multiple versions of the same content exist, they may compete against each other for Google's attention and negatively impact the search performance of the original content. This competition can result in the original page being incorrectly diagnosed as duplicate content and in rare cases rewriting the duplicate page over the original content. For example, if you have an article on ways to detect AI content in three different places of your site, you are not tripling your chances of ranking. Instead, you are splitting Google's votes, so to speak, making it harder for any single page to secure a top spot in search results. And what about bad actors who scrape your content for their websites? You definitely don't want Google to reward their pages over yours, the original author. Now that we understand what duplicate content is and why it's important for SEO, let's focus on how you can avoid and fix duplicate content. I will point out several scenarios where duplicate content might become an issue and show you how to fix these challenges. Ready? Let's dive in. First up, URL variations. You might not realize it, but your site could throw up duplicate content issues because of incorrect URLs. Every slight variation in your URL is treated as a new page by search engines. Even though most websites are configured to redirect to the original version of the URL to prevent differences in case sensitivity, it's a good idea to maintain consistency. You can also check for plagiarism inside Surfer just before you publish your article. If the duplicates are on your own site, consider consolidating the pages. Or implement the rel canonical tag when you have multiple pages with similar content or if you are syndicating content across other sites but you want to make sure the SEO credit flows back to your original piece. The rel canonical tag can help you signal to search engines which page to consider as the original. Imagine you've got two pages on your site that are almost identical. To you, it's clear they serve different purposes, but to search engines, they look like duplicate content. Using rel canonical tag is a way to tell search engines which page to consider as the original and to pay attention to. Just add a line of code in the head section of your duplicate page's HTML. It looks like this. So, for example, if you wanted to point out to your article on detecting AI content as the original page, I would add this code. This line of code simply tells search engines all credit should go to this original URL. Note that the trailing slash after your URL can signal two different pages to search engines with the same content. Having your site on www and non www can also dilute your site authority by indicating two versions of your website. Similarly, http example.com and http S example.com are two different websites as far as search engines are concerned. So how can you fix these issues? Apart from implementing a rel canonical tag, you can permanently redirect URLs you don't consider important to the preferred URL. Our next scenario is for e-commerce websites that offer filters like size, color or brand. This is called facet search and will often lead to duplicate content issues because every filter creates a new URL. In the eyes of search engines, these duplicate URLs will change the content of the page even if it's the same product. So implement the canonical tag and you can also consider blocking unwanted URLs in your robots.txt file. As you can see, using the canonical tag is an effective way to tackle duplicate content issues. But what about content syndication? Syndicating your content can widen your reach, but without the proper attribution, it could lead to duplicate content issues. When syndicating, ensure that you point to the original version of the article. Most platforms make this process simple. Medium, for example, has a checkbox to add your original URL. Now I know some of you are wondering about malicious websites stealing your pages. 
As for scrapers, the good news is that you don't have to worry about content copiers as much as you had to in the past. Google's advances in its algorithms mean that it is able to dismiss copied pages and not give them authority. However, it is still a good idea to regularly monitor your content online. Don't hesitate to file a DMCA takedown for copied content. If your website has a lot of printable content in the form of PDFs, you can face duplicate content issues as well. A super simple solution would be not index those pages. Insert this meta tag into the head section of your page to prevent all search engines that support the no index rule from indexing a page on your site. However, Google advises against using the no index tag. By adding this tag to pages you don't want indexed, you are directly telling search engines to completely remove these pages from search results. If you want to show the PDFs in search results, add a canonical tag to the original content. Lastly, duplicate content can be caused by content localization. Expanding globally is exciting, but creating local versions of your content can create duplicates. Content localization isn't just about translating text. It's about creating unique and valuable content for each geography or language that adjusts for trends and local preferences. While hiring a bunch of writers in different countries might be challenging, Server AI can help you write content in 9 additional languages. German, Dutch, Polish, French, Spanish, Danish, Swedish, Portuguese and Brazilian Portuguese. So instead of translating your English content, Surfer will generate a completely new search engine optimized article that are written for native speakers. To ensure that search engines don't treat your content as duplicates, embrace herflang tags to signal content variations across different regions and languages. It tells them, hey, these pages are tailored for different audiences. Remember that according to Google, localized versions of a page are only considered duplicates if the main content of the page remains untranslated. To add the hreflang elements to your page header, tell Google all of the languages and region variations of a page in this format. So let's say you've made these changes to tackle duplicate content. As a final step, head over to Google's search console and find the sitemaps tab. Here you can add a new or updated sitemap URL and hit submit. By submitting your sitemap, you are telling Google which pages to consider important. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you are serious about keeping your content optimized for SEO, give this video a like and subscribe for more SEO tactics to grow your website. I will see you in the next video. Again, thank you so much for watching and cheers.